In this video, we are going to talk about data-driven frameworks and we will show how to develop a data-driven framework. Data-driven framework is one where you read information that you want to pass from the external data sources. These external data sources can be your CSV files, can be your databases, can be EXE files that are located on your file system. Contrary to the keyword-driven framework, in this case it is understood that you should have automation background to execute scripts. For this demo, we have used HP's flight reservation uh, sample application, the web-based sample application that is located at neotorts.demoaot.com. For planning purposes, we have created an Excel sheet by the name Test Cases. This Excel sheet consists of three test cases for flight reservation application. On the y-axis, you can see the test cases, while on the x-axis, you can see various reusable actions required for these test cases. If you see the cross sign on the intersection, uh, it would mean that the, the reusable action on the top is needed for the test case on the left-hand side. So for example, select a flight test case would need navigate to application URL reusable action, enter login credentials, find a flight, select a flight, sign off from application, and close the browser. Likewise, check cruises would need navigate to application URL, enter login credentials, sign off from application, close the browser, and check cruise. Any test automation framework that you will develop, always try to make it modular which means that uh, a large test should have small independent scripts that can be reused across test cases. In the case of keyword-driven framework, we reach that modularity using functions, while in the case of data-driven frameworks, we do the same by making use of various reusable actions. For this demo, we have created an external data source in the form of a data table that is located at the bottom of QTP's IDE. And there is an action library and then we have various driver scripts. We then did the recording for seven reusable actions corresponding to the reusable actions that are listed in our Excel sheet. These actions are part of a test and we call this test as an action library or a repository of reusable actions. For this demo, I have named this as AL underscore data driven. We then parameterize some fixed input values. You can parameterize a script in number of ways. We chose QTP data table to retrieve the data. For this demo, we have parameterized URL, the username, password, and the trip type. Once parameterization is done and various checkpoints are in place, we went ahead and created driver scripts for each of the manual test case that we have. Let me show you one of the driver scripts that we have created. This driver script is making a call to various reusable actions that are residing inside my action library that I have just created. Now to create a driver script, you simply need to create a new test first and then call required reusable actions one by one using call to existing actions. Let us run one of the driver scripts that we have created. We have started the run now. UTP is running the script and it has now closed the browser. 
and we can now see the results. You can click on this plus button to see the detailed results. So that's about it. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video on data driven frameworks. In case you are a Learn QTP trainee, you can find various files discussed here in your members area. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.